So it's the end of 2022. Can you believe it? So what did we do this year? I'm Paul Schmidt, the owner and creative video strategist for Introduce Multimedia. And I just want to talk a little bit about the great year that was 2022. It was another record-breaking year in several different areas. I'm just going to go one by one through all the things that we accomplished. So starting with the live streams. We did 18 live streams. That does not include the four full conferences we did that included a lot of the live streaming aspects. Except for Michigan Community Action, all of those were brand new conferences that we had not done before. And so we we're really pleased on how all those turned out. Now alongside that, we also produced 35 podcasts this year. Podcast for Acuitas, Michigan Association of Counties, the Arts Council of Greater Lansing, if you've heard their arts roll call, that's the podcast that we produce, as well as several episodes of our own podcast that we'll be launching again in the coming year called Mission Control, which we talk to 11 nonprofit organizations, and we're gonna try to bump that up to 12, get that even number for next year. So watch for that. As for the video storytelling, which is our bread and butter, that's what we've established you know, this as a video storytelling agency, we did a ton of videos. So it was hard to keep track of all of the videos that we did because there were so many. But we did get 27 brand new clients into the Introduce family. A lot of them have been repeat customers over the year. So that's really huge for us. And we're looking forward to working with all of them in the coming year as well and beyond. So that's a really good mark for us because it beat one of our established goals for the year. As well as, drum roll please, we helped fundraise this year for the organizations that asked us to help over a million dollars in fundraising dollars into the Greater Lansing area. That's a huge milestone for us. We've never hit that level and we are very thankful to partner with the organizations that asked us to assist them to help raise these funds. It's such a huge boost to what they do and also a huge boost to Greater Lansing. So we're really proud of that. Looking into the marketing aspect of what we've been doing, of course, we had the Ducey Awards. Of course, it was our 10th year doing the Ducey Awards. And so it's always a popular kind of like a shout out or give back to our clients. So the most entertaining video of the year went to Habitat for Humanity Capital Region for their Restore Roadshow. The most inspirational video of the year went to the Girl Scouts Heart of Michigan. The most informational video of the year went to the Community Economic Development Association of Michigan. I know that's a mouthful, but they're also known as CEDAM. And finally, the most outstanding video of the year went to CASA for Kids. CASA stands for Court Appointed Special Advocate. All of those winners, it was their first time winning a Ducey Award, so I was really proud of that, being able to honor them and uh, look back at the videos that we did for them in the year prior. Our Giving Tuesday event just happened just recently if you didn't catch who the winner was for the giving tuesday and this is obviously something that we do in partnership with m connections um, they provide digital strategy we provide video storytelling for a 60 second video and the winner this year was twigs and so we're really excited because they're a brand new organization they're really making big strides in the community and we're looking forward to partnering with them on that and finally we did our very own live show that went to facebook and youtube called media club which went really well we did 12 straight episodes it was just basically me james and nick because this was before cat this was before cat so me, James, and Nick all sat down and talked a little bit about what we're doing here at Unaduce, some of the things that catch our attention out in the, out in the world. I think we're gonna be kicking that back up in a few weeks, so stay tuned for that. So check that out. And finally, to end this year, I was honored by Child and Family Charities with their Resilience Hero Award, in which, as the award states, they considered me their resilience hero and I'm very proud of this because it really meant a lot coming from a client that we've had a huge relationship with over the years and just being recognized by 
someone of that, that importance in the community for the things that not just me, even though my name is on here, but the team that I have and I have led have done as well because it's very important work we feel like we do. We don't look for these types of awards, although this is a really nice award, I must say. This is really cool. I'm really thankful for that and for that recognition because it's, it's really propels us into 2023 to do bigger and better things. And that goes to you. So what am I gonna ask you to do? I want you to follow us on our social media. I want you to visit our website because it changes weekly. And then finally, sign up for our email newsletter so you don't miss any of the stuff that's happening that I'm putting out there each week. Thank you for your support and thank you for tuning into all the things that we do. We appreciate that. We appreciate you. Hope to see you in the coming year. Have a wonderful, wonderful holiday.